is the FBI browsing Twitter, or maybe it's CIA. Either way, Twitter users have exposed some sort of Fed account. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, bringing you the obvious, and today on Twitter.com. Now this came to my attention not so long ago, and it is extremely interesting and extremely mysterious. What exactly is the mystery here? Well, here we see Jack Hanoran says, and he's a journalist and filmmaker focused on irregular warfare. He's anti-censorship, so he's a good guy. He's followed by Tim Pole. Um, okay, let's see here. People are claiming this mysterious account at your white friend is some kind of Fed account. You can't block it or follow it. Really weird. Now that is really weird. Really extremely weird. Now before you watch this video, my entire channel's been demonetized, so if you want to throw a little support my way, you can find me on Patreon or Subscribestar. All the links are in the description. Be sure to check them out. Sharing videos by posting them on social media also helps a lot because, well, they're deranking and deboosting red pilled content. Now let's see this video. Okay, so this was a real account. It did exist. It I looked it up. It no longer exists. At your white friend has been removed, it, which, which just makes it more suspicious because it was there just a few days ago. Look at this. And we're gonna watch the video. You can't block this user, you can't follow this user, and they try multiple times to make this happen and it doesn't. Now the weirdest thing about this is if you actually look into the context, it seems more and more likely that this is actually a Fed account, most likely the FBI. As a reminder, I actually did an entire video exposing the fact that the FBI posts on 4chan. It's a real video, you can watch it yourself. They were caught on 4chan, they were caught on 8chan, posting, encouraging people to commit crimes. It was pretty, pretty nefarious stuff. Now, why is this probably a Fed account? Well, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. First of all, the name is Latest Slight. However, at your white friend. Now, why would they pick that? At your white friend. I think this is someone LARPing, probably a Fed account account and they encourage people to, I don't know, commit a crime and then the FBI goes out and they stop that crime and then they take all the credit or they stop it before it happens. It's basically entrapment and it's very, it's very scary stuff that our federal agencies are doing covert operations on social media. Now, this might not be a Fed account, but I think there's evidence to suggest that it is a possibility. Now look at this description. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, during the feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs which he did, but Jesus did not commit himself. So that's pretty strange. Um, there's hashtag never forget. There's a YouTube video. However, we can't see the full link, so we're not sure what that means or what it is. Now one thing I noticed also, now one other thing I noticed, six million in case you forgot, it would seem that this is a pro. Um, there's very few people I know that actually talk about like World War II. But I know that boomers really do believe that places like Israel are allies. And as such, I would expect a boomer who works at the FBI to be pro-Israel. So I, I wouldn't, so it doesn't surprise me that they're saying never forget in response to World War II. Now, this is pretty strange. It's strange that this account existed. It's strange that there's evidence of it. And it's even stranger that the account no longer exists. So let's take a look at the replies and maybe see what we can learn. All right, so here we go. Jake Hanaran says, the plot thickens. You can't look at any of the account's followers either. So keep in mind, this account has disabled followers and disabled blocking. Like no one can block them, no one can follow them. However, they have 200 followers and they're following over a thousand people. Now this is clearly more than a glitch. If it was a glitch, it would be one or two things. It wouldn't be everything. And it's extremely mysterious that the moment that this account was exposed, the account disappeared. Absolutely, it doesn't say disabled, it doesn't say deleted, it just says this account does not exist. What is going on? This is absolutely glowing, I'll tell you that much. Jake Hanaran says, WTF, now I'm block or it's been deleted? This is one for you, Rainbot YT. Nexpo YT, you've been blocked from following this account at the request of the user. Jake Hanaran says, Yup, now it's gone. Actual internet mystery discovered. Jake Hanaran says, Looks like the attention to this account originated in this thread below. Have a look, much more information. So just Gator, at Korean, who seems to be the one who discovered this, says, Try blocking this account and refresh the page. Oh my friends, the plot is thickening. We're getting some more proof. At one point, you could see what accounts these people were following. This account, Mayne says, who the F follows a CIA on Twitter? So this is who they were following before they blocked it from people being able to watch it. Tammy Bruce, Far Left Watch, Katie Hopkins, Peter Sweden, the CIA. <laughs> and campus reform, a lot of political people, the exact people you would expect the Fed to be following. 
So, Just Gator says, There's some discrepancies between the amount of followers or viewed by different people. I see that they have four followers. Very strange. Okay, so this is weird. Some other weird findings. This account now has tweets and they weren't there 30 minutes ago, but says they are three days old and they are all cryptic and anti-Israel. Okay, so yeah, I'm, get, I'm really getting the vibes of a glowing Fed account, whether it's CIA or FBI. Definitely, definitely a glowing account. I mean, I think it's almost way too obvious now. Yep, it's confirmed. I'm, I'm calling it. I can say with 95% certainty, you know, because there's always a margin of error, that this was an FBI account. You want to know why? Just Gator says, Fed's out here wilding. So here's what the account says. A real doozy. The Nazis wear black masks, just like the at GOP told us. We've got to kill the Nazis at DNC. You know what that will take, right? So here are the Feds, probably the FBI, just like they did on 4chan, are encouraging violence. Um, when they talk about black masks, they're talking about Antifa, just like the GOP told us. <laughs> wow, they're actually playing both sides of the field. Not only are they encouraging people on the right to attack Antifa in the same sentence, they're encouraging people on the left, GOP is, uh, Republicans, DNC is Democrats, to attack actual, you know, perceived, uh, extreme right-wingers who are mostly just conservatives, no actual extremists. And then he says, you know what that will take, right? This is an intelligent statement in the fact that you're combining two separate things. However, it's also vastly unintelligent because it's way too obvious. We caught a Fed account and now we know, probably with 95% certainty, that the FBI browses Twitter. It wasn't enough to encourage violence on 4chan or other websites. Do these people have no remorse? Do they not feel any regret trying to incite Horrible things to happen? What is wrong with our country? Just Gator says, a general summary of what has been found thus far. Follower amount changes every time I look. Can't block. Follows the CIA and other suspicious accounts. The government really this bad at ESP... <laughs> at espionage? That's funny. I am an FBI agent. Just Gator says, in another thread, somebody had this happen to them for snooping around. Stay safe behind seven proxies. Americhat says, guys, I'm actually freaking out right now. My account just got locked and it said suspicion of being a bot and made me do four captchas, then have me my account right back. What the fuck is happening, guys? So here Whitson says, look at how many tweets and replies in the last week. Apparently this account isn't really busy making all of these tweets. It really does seem like a Fed operation. Why, who else would spend all day making all these replies and tweets? There's so many. I'm very interested in the possibilities for this case. It could also just be a bot. That would explain some of the weird behavior, but it doesn't explain why you couldn't do anything. How come you couldn't follow it? How come you couldn't block it? That's not a normal thing, is it? So, you know, those are two very strong possibilities. One, it's a Fed account. Two, it's just some sort of bot. I'm not exactly sure how it would exploit Twitter in this way. And it's absolutely creepy. This is a true internet mystery. And I never actually thought I would witness a real legitimate mystery right in front of my face. It could very well be a Fed account. It could very well be a bot. It's just really strange. Here Mickey says, he only talks about Israel. That's crazy. And then of course the account no longer exists. But you know what my friends, this is pretty much our bizarre story. It's a complete internet mystery. I'll leave links to both of these threads so that you can look at everything yourself. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Whether it's the Fed or whether it's a bot, this is certainly a real life internet mystery, but that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this crazy mystery? What is your answer? What do you think the truth is? Be sure to let me know. Now, this is just a reminder, but you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as $1. Doing so will give you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server. There are different tiers, you can choose whatever you wish. There's also PayPal options, which can do monthly or one-time donations, and Bitcoin. Lastly, sharing the video always helps, as I've mentioned before. But now it's time for a Q&A session with Mr. Obvious. Ould asks, how old are you? And, you know, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm in my 20s. I am currently a student, uh, you know the drill, very busy these days. Everyone says this is the prime of your life, but it hardly feels that way most times. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing half the time, and it seems like I'm learning something new every single day. But I'm doing the best I can with what I have. India, I am a millennial, dabbing on them Zoomers and the Boomers. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.